Welcome everyone to our 94th annual May Day Festival and our kicking off the festival tonight. We're so thrilled that you could be with us. Um, this is one of those traditions that, you know, is it, it makes Pork Coquitlam what Pork Coquitlam is. It brings together young people, uh, it brings together not so young people, <laughs> like our friend Councillor Washington, but it really represents that small town charm that we love about Port Coquitlam. And one of the things, even though we're growing as a community and uh, we're expanding, as you can see, what we're doing here at the Rec Center, if you haven't been here before, if you've just driven by, there's a, there's a lot going on here. And over the next number of years, we'll continue the growth, the changes of this facility. You can see that uh, no longer is anything on the other side of those walls there, and there's different entrances, and there's dirt piles of dirt everywhere. Um, and so, what we look at this is not only are we building a new rec center for our community, um, we're really building a strong foundation for our downtown, which is really that anchor to uh, Port Coquitlam. So, bear with us as we go through this over the next few years. Uh, there will be changes pretty much probably every time you show up here, there'll be something different. So, uh, just bear with us as we go through that. So we're really excited about May Day. It is that fast, that, that just fantastic time that brings our community together that's uh, tonight and activities throughout the week. Uh, I do want to make some introductions of some very special people that are with us tonight. Uh, first, I want to introduce our head table. And so we have the 2016 May Queen, Rachel Brown. The 2016 May Day Ambassador, Gavin Yang. This year's May Queen, Ava Dickinson. This year's Ambassador, Daniel Harvey. Our First Princess, uh, Katrina Hera. And our Record Bearer, Jaden Jim. I want to introduce some of our uh, elected folks that are with us. Uh, our MP, Ron McKinnon, and his wife, Christine. I'll give an extra shout out for Ron because this week his private member's bill, uh, which does not happen too often when a private member puts a bill forward, got passed and got royal assent. So congratulations, Ron. Really Our uh, long-serving MLA, Mike Farnworth, is with us. And of course, we have our, our members from City Council. We have our chair of our Healthy Community Healthy Community Committee, Councillor Laura DuPont. We have uh, the Vice Chair of the Committee, Councillor Brad West, is West with his wife, Blair. I'll start that again. Councillor Brad West with his wife, Blair, and his son, Leo. Sorry about that. And our other Healthy Community member, uh, yeah, community committee member. Maybe there's too much in there for me. Uh, Councillor Daryl Penner and his wife Brenda. We also have with us Councillor Mike Forrest and his wife Karen. <laughs> Councillor Glenn Pollock and his wife Christine. And over here, Councillor Washington. So as many of you probably know, but if you don't, the May Day, or the May, May Day is put on by a group of volunteers uh, with lots of support from the city, but this is really a community-driven uh, festival. And so we really uh, want to give a huge round of applause and thank you to all of the members of the May Day Task Force. And first, we'll uh, recognize him by himself, because I know he does so much work on this, is Bob Lee, the chairperson. <laughs> And uh, complimenting Bob, and, and I will tell you, you know, they start the planning for next year's the day after this year finishes. Probably tonight they're thinking of what they're going to do next year. So this is a year-round uh, commitment. But we want to thank uh, Russ McMurchy. I, I guess you thought I was going to go through this long list. Well, we could do that. 
Maybe you're all hungry, that's just what it is. Um, uh, Ansley Meldrum, Lisa N Nadlin, Jennifer Swatsnick, Walter Van Drimmelin, Susan Walden, Bentley Yamora, Richard, and those people are there, so we'll clap for them. <laughs> and some of the four others that, uh, that send on their, pass on their regrets tonight, uh, Richard McElmoy, Edward Tay, Linda Saworski, and Samantha and Ryan Van Loan, if we could give them a big round. I do also want to introduce a few other people. Um, we have Ann Hedley, the president of the Wilson Center Seniors Advisory Association that plays a big part in tonight's festivities. <laughs> representing our school, uh, in the 2017 May Queen, uh, sorry, representing the schools of our 2017 May Queen is Kim Tompkins, the principal of Castle Park Elementary. Um, and I want to also acknowledge our Port Quillen School Trustees, Judy Shira is right here, and uh, Michael Thomas is right here. We also want to thank our Red Surge, our RCMP that are with us tonight, Sergeant Grant Flourish and Corporal Justin Abels. Our piper this evening, which will pipe some of uh, us in later on, is Anne Sheriff, who will play with, uh, who plays with the Royal Canadian Legion Band 133. Just a few more. Uh, there's a lot of people that put this on, and, and it is important that we recognize everyone. I want to thank also uh, Judy Schmidt, our peer president of the Port Quillen Heritage and Cultural Society. Uh, our Chief Administrative Officer, uh, who helps all of us sort of guide all of this around, uh, John Liebern and his wife Brenda, are doing so. <laughs> Sorry, John, I didn't mean to. It's going to be a problem with you. I'm not sure why you're all red. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, our Parks and Recreation Director, uh, Lori Bowie. And I also want a, a, a special uh, shout out to our Freedom of the City. These are uh, individuals that served on council for many years that made this community the community that it is. And we give them the highest honor that we can, which is Freedom of the City. So I'd like to acknowledge, uh, while Mike Farnworth is one, and we already introduced Mike over here, uh, but Michael Wright and his wife Thalka. Uh, And I want to say a special thank you to Michael. Uh, he is the one that took all of these wonderful photos of your kids practicing uh, to be ready for tonight and uh, have them up here. And he's done that now for a number of years. And Michael, thank you so much for doing that. And I'm not going to mention them all by name, but we have many of the Maypole dance um, teachers and instructors with us tonight. And we do want to give a special thanks to all of you for spending all of that extra time to helping continue on the tradition of Maypole dancing here in Port Quillam. So thank you so much for that. Okay, so now we're ready for dinner. Excellent. Uh, you will find a number on the table in front of you. Um, Rob over here is going to draw numbers uh, to see who comes first. And I've always found that that's a really good thing for me not to do it, because if you're last, then you get mad at Rob. So anyways, uh, have a good dinner, and I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll talk about how we're going to go through the rest of the evening. Rob. So we have a couple uh, speeches that we're going to ask some people to come up to introduce our May Queen and our ambassador to you. 
Then we're going to go through a process that, uh, this is all actually part of the May Day tradition, where we're going to uh, give out some gifts, as you can see over there, to my left, your right, to uh, all of our royal party, and then we'll get ready to uh, go into the big arena for the May Day dancing. So first, join me in welcoming Kim Tompkins, who's the principal of Castle Park Elementary, who is here to say a few words about our incoming May Day. writing down my own thoughts about this wonderful student and person. But then I decided to go beyond my own thoughts and sought out teachers who have worked with Ava throughout her time at Castle Park. To a person, the descriptors were committed, kind, a quiet leader, humble, willing to help at any moment. Ava can be relied on and she is a student who exemplifies excellence academically, socially, musically, and athletically. She continues to be involved in every aspect of school, of school life. Ava, I know you will be an excellent ambassador for the youth of Port Coquitlam and the May Day festivities, and I could not be more pleased for you. I extend to you my very best wishes, and I know you will enjoy every minute. Thank you. That was wonderful. And uh, next up is to introduce our ambassador. And unfortunately, um, the principal wasn't able to come from uh, Paul Del Pernier, the Martin Millardville, to join us this evening. But we have a great pinch hitter. Um, so I would like to introduce uh, Councillor Brad West, who's the Vice Chair of our Healthy Community Committee, say a few words on behalf of Eric LeClar about the incoming ambassador. Good evening, everyone. It's my uh, pleasure to um, say these words on uh, behalf of the principal of Ecole de Pioneer. We're very sorry that we couldn't be here today to witness this special ceremony. The students and staff at Ecole de Pioneer are absolutely delighted that Daniel has been chosen to represent our school. Daniel is a very engaged student, curious and dependable. He's a great team player and enjoys participating in all of our school activities, always with a great attitude. We're very proud of him and thank you again for this honor. Thanks, Councillor West. Uh, now I'm pleased to introduce Ann Huntley, who's the president of the Wilson Center Senior Advisory Association, who's here to present a special gift to our 2017 May Queen, Ambassador, First Princess, and Record Bearer. Ann. Association, it gives me great pleasure to present each member of the 2017 May Day Royal Party Executive with an extra special, me, extra special commemorative gift in recognition of the additional work that you will be doing or could be asked to do throughout your year as May Queen and Ambassador. We also recognize the First Princess and the Record Bearer as they may be called upon as second in command. If you can't fulfill your duties, you may have to take place. I will call up each of you separately to ask you to come and get your gift. 2017 May Queen Ava Dixon.
First Princess, Katrina Herrera. Ambassador Daniel Harvey. And not to be left out, 2017 record bearer Jaden Jin. Please give these youngsters a real hearty welcome because they are going to look after our city for the next year. to present the royal party, I do want to acknowledge a few other uh, people that pulled together this evening. So please uh, join me in thank me, thanking Austin Gourmet Catering for the excellent job of our meal tonight. Also a big round of applause for our Parks and Recreation staff that uh, are all around here helping out as well. And this is one of those things where when you work in Parks and Rec this becomes another added duty on the side of your desk. But I can tell us, I can tell you from someone that used to work at Parks and Recreation, it was one of the most exciting times of the year. So we give a big round of applause for our Parks and Rec staff. If we could give one really big round of applause for Bob Lee and the Mayday Task Force that volunteers so much time to put this on every year. And lastly, we want to thank you as all of the parents who I know you live busy lives and you're running your kids to dance and sports and all over the place and then they get this honor of being part of the Mayday and now you got to run them here to the rec center to learn dances and all that sort of stuff. So we want to say thank you to each and every one of you too for adding that to your extra duties. We really truly appreciate it and we appreciate that it helps keep this tradition alive in Port Coquitlam. So now we are going to go through uh, giving out uh, some gifts. Bob Lee, our chairperson of the Mayday Task Force, is going to give them out. I'm going to help him and I'm going to ask Councillor DuPont to come up and read out the names. As Councillor DuPont's coming up, uh, I will tell you from the city, each city, each child will receive a keepsake autograph book that includes a group photo, a City of Port Coquitlam t-shirt, a fire and safety disaster planning activity book, um, and, and a reflective zipper, poles, and stickers. So a little bit of safety, a little bit of fun uh, in there for all of our uh, children. So Councillor DuPont, over to you. Well, welcome everyone. Thanks for being here this evening. I am going to talk about the 2017 Lancers. Maika Aldous from Central. Anthony. Anthony. Should I wait? Okay. Can you please go up and see the man? <laughs> Anthony Belay Karoyu from Hope Lutheran Christian.
Tyler Natalin from Castle Park. Serban from Hazel Trimpath. Thomas from Irvin. Jarvis from Westwood. <laughs> Mall from Central. Thank you. 
Serena Smith from Lee. from Mary Hill. Christian. 
Head to Table guests, our 2016 main queen, Rachel Brown from James Park Elementary. So 
Uh, for all that information, just go to our website at portcoquillum.ca forward slash mayday, and you'll see all of the activities that are going on there. All right, we're just about to head into the arena. Um, but uh, before we do, and I don't think they're actually here, um, can we give a big round of applause to uh, Shelly and Stephanie, who helped us out and, and did all the things. Okay, so here's the, 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 the official part's over, but don't get up just yet because we've been doing this for a few years now, and uh, it can't just be a mass rush in there because people all sit in different areas. So, um, again, Shelly and Stephanie are going to uh, organize the royal party and the dignitaries, so we'll ask everyone to stay there. Everybody knows Shelly, so wave. Um, Glenn Mitzel, where's Glenn? Glenn in the back corner here is going to take the VIPs, and I think you know who you are, uh, to the guests in the arena. And then Rob Sullivan, where's Rob? There's Rob. Uh, Rob is going to take all the parents of the Royal Party over to the arena to ensure that you find your seats. Okay? So everybody knows what category they're in, they know which person they're following uh, to make sure you find your place in the right spot there. So thanks everyone, enjoy yourself as part of the, uh, the dancing we have coming up in the rest of the week.